Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use scroll view in uh, auto layout storyboard with Xcode 11. So let's get started. I got a single view app. And in Xcode 11, I'm going to call this scroll view. Uh, one thing that's important is you have your user interface set to storyboard, not Swift UI. I'll save it. And we're going to jump right into the storyboard. The first thing I am going to add is the scroll view. I'm going to stretch it out, um, covering to each side, and then I'm going to pin it there using these constraints. So set to 0, 0, 0, 0. I got solid red lines there. I'm going to add those four constraints. That'll pin it to the sides. You'll notice the edges turn red, but they won't be red for long. One thing you'll notice this new in Xcode 11 is now that we have this scroll view, we have a content layout guide and a frame layout guide. And these two things are going to make using the scroll view in the storyboard real easy. So next, let's add a stack view. Um, stack views are just ways of organizing your objects um, on your screen. I'm going to do a vertical stack view. Um, so any objects that I place on the screen, this stack view will organize them vertically um, on top of each other. And I'll just make uh, this project a little bit easier. I'm stretching it out to all four sides. I'm going to do a control click and drag from the stack view up to the content layout guide. When I do that, I get these um, top four constraints here, leading spit. Oops. <laughs> Let me do that for you one more time. I should have had shift held down. So I'm going to do a control click and drag from the stack view up to the content layout guide. When I let go, I get these um, four up top here. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift this time so I can click leading space, top space, trailing space, and bottom space. When I have all those clicked, I'm going to hit um, enter, return, um, and then I get those four constraints right here. I want to check those constraints because I want those constraints to be zero. And you notice this one right here has a 869 added onto it, so I'm going to change that to zero. And then this one has plus 414. And again, I want that to be zero. I want all these to be zero. So I'm going to enter e zero and hit enter. Um, those are the constraints I want. Um, next up, I am going to constrain the stack view again. But this time, I'm going to do a control click and drag from the stack view to the frame layout guide. And the reason why is I want this to be equal widths. So I want my stack view to be the same width. So I'm going to say equal widths. And I'll have that constraint will show up right here as well. Awesome. We're pretty much done. We just need to add some objects to make it scrollable. So I'm going to go back to my object library. And I'm going to find a view. And when you drop it in there, you'll notice the stack view um, just organizes it and puts it right at the t up at the top. I want to put a constraint on that because I want it to be, oops, my cat came to visit, but it's not a great time, so I'm going to put a constraint on there because I want it to be taller. So what do we say, uh, 800, and I'm going to set that one constraint, so that's going to make that view to be 800, and why don't we change the color so it's easy to see, I'll make it purple. Then I'm going to add another view. And I'm going to drop it above this other one. And I can do that over here on the document outline. I can drop it um, inside of the stack view, but above the other view. And again, I'm going to put a constraint on that. I'm going to say 800. and add that one constraint. 
Let's make that a different color. Let's set that to be yellow. And then I'll add one more object. I'm going to add a label. I'll put that between these two views in the document outline in the stack view. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna run that, I'm gonna press play on my simulator so I can check and see how my project went, see if it's scrollable, it should be. And of course, instead of putting in views, you could be putting in um, images, you could be putting in any of those objects from the object library that you want to be able to scroll through. All right, finally loaded, and we can scroll it. So if you've used scroll view before in Xcode, one of the earlier versions of Xcode, you'll probably notice it's a little bit easier now that we have that um, let me move this to the side. Now that we have that content layout guide and that frame layout guide, it just makes it a little bit quicker. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.